right okay so we will start with the practice question right right example number one so i'm going to do this one. right the statement of financial position as set 31st december 2019 are as follows P limited, S limited, and T limited. Separate financial statement as set the uh, as at 31st December 2019 are given. And we have given the acquisition details as well. Right? First point. On 1st of April 2015, P has acquired 75% of S when S limited's retained earnings stood at 1,000. Right? These things, right? These things, the first thing in the consolidation sums, we need to graph whatever the information given, or we need to have the big picture in our mind. Me mukadda velati me, kavadda mukadda unekiya neka. Appi, we need to summarize. Appi ek summar ek summary karan no, right? Here in this word document, you can see on. 1st of April 2015, P has acquired 75% of S. The Palave, April Palavenida, P can be parent company. P has acquired 75% of S. In a Mayage, Eskina company, K. C. A. Hatta Paha Gatta Kilikanapi, Eskilikanapi Kaud. It should be a subsidiary for us. Right? Okay. Then, when P acquired 75% of S Limited, S when S Limited's retained earnings stood at 1000. Minnami transaction nega vena davas netta minnami acquisition nega vena davas e api denagan no na api investment amount e kiyad. E kyan ni S ke C at hatta paha acquire karagan na api kiya invest karanavad. How can we find this investment amount? Here, non current amount. Here, if you see this balance sheet, you see this balance sheet, what? Investment in S. Investment in S. P has acquired this. The amount is what? 6,000. That is what I have taken here. Right? Investment in May Haida Haran PN. Ape financial statement. Okay. Clear? Right. In a Apitanagan known, Kabad the Mede Vinni, Kauru Kava the Quire Karagani, which are a percentage of the Quire Karagan Navade, a key investment take a key other, right? And this is also important as at the acquisition dates, what are the what are the net assets amount of the Acquire oh, yeah. acquire when a kinagi paripa litha samagami acquire karagan dava set a net assets tibbe mona mona amounts well in the kinagapi than a gun all right. So here in this sum it has given me acquisition nega when a dava say S limited's retained earnings stood at thousand rupees in a kina thousand the minimum minimum can taragan at the end right. Yeah. Investment, right? Abidanagan nona on which date, who has acquired whom, at which percentage, and what is the invested amount, and as at the acquisition date, what are the net asset figures, right? Net asset amounts. Right. So this is the first point. First point taking up the no the world. Right. May then a point taken up the acquisition details of the draft karagan up the summary for me at Aragene known a camel in the in a complex consolidation sum. Right. Second point. On first of April 2016, S has acquired 60% in T. When T Limited's retained earnings stood at 600. On 16th of 
April. On 16th of April, what has happened is S Limited. S Limited is now already a subsidiary for us. Then the month SKL again have a subsidiary. The last Pahalo April, like a PL is it had the Pahakaraganiva. If you go to Medavi, the SKL again have a subsidiary. The last Dasi, out of the good Hossev in the Mugad, a pay subsidiary acre, Tower T Kiel a company acre, see at a Hatekashias gun. Right? S our subsidiary has acquired 60% of shares in T Limited. It means since it is more than 50%, T Limited is a subsidiary for S. The May transaction with the isolately value thing become funny value thing. T Kirakiani is the subsidiary. But since S is a subsidiary for us, S Kilikani Api subsidiary Kaknis and Atang Api Api SK Pair and Nisa T Kilakian Nithina Ape subsidiary. Api Kino mean the Miyamagi companies will take sub subsidiaries. Api Miyagi directly invest Kerno more than fifty percent, therefore S is a subsidy for us, subsidy for us. And our subsidy has invested or subsidy has acquired more than 50% of shares in T. So T is the sub T. So uh, T is the subsidiary of S and it is the sub subsidiary of our company. Meanwhile, investment structure right? But here also we should determine these things. So we should know these things. What is the investment amount? May S K and a company acre? T is the key to the key to the investment amount the key to the financial statement to the investment in T. T is investment amount to the S limited has invested 2000 rupees. Right? And the amount of the amount and also in whatever the acquisition we should know the net assets amount as well acquire karaganna das balance sheet take the figures nimi balance sheet figures shows us the figures as at 31st december 2019 apita a figures so ne apita ona acquire karaganna dawas e kiyanne menna medata acquire karaganna menna me company eke metana t t ke net assets amounts on 1st of April 2016, S acquired 60% in T when T Limited's retained earnings stood at 600. Right? We didn't acquire Karagan Nadavase, T Limited, when making a company, retained earnings. Nadavagat Ipeum Tibalu, Hyasia. In a figure, we need to consider. Here. Right? Right. Stated capital, most of the times it does not change. So that is why I have taken the balance sheet amounts at balance sheet amounts here as well, right? Stated capital samaning and as well. Ekanisa Api assume can me the das the hanami dulahai tis sekatib eskim in me kiena stated capital amount taker the das pahalave did a with the atomati in. When as we mark when a man up to be shame and gone again, own here and at Nisa, we assume that this same amount has been there on 2015 as well. T get the MI the does the Haname the Haiti sticker the stated capital amount is thousand and we assume as at first of April 2016 also the stated capital amount may be thousand, right. Clear. Ena? Api dana gan no no mode? Ganak deepu gamang. Me ekeka transactions. Kavad de uni. Kauru kau dek pa ekar gatti. Kuchar percentage chikadde. Investment tika kiyade. Akpa ekar gana davasi. Net assets kiyade. Right? Metana tema. Hamada. Makai transaction in transaction nikata. Kavad. Kauru kavad. Kuchar percentage chikadde. Investment tika kiyade. Acquire Karagana Davasi net assets here. Right. And then, apart from that, 
we need to determine the NCI value as well. NCI. Can you remember what does this NCI stands for? What does this NCI stands for? What do you mean by NCI? What means NCI? None. Controlling, non -controlling non interest. Right. Non controlling interest. Again, a bit of control can be very. Equity portion, like a pick and roll, grand, like a pita, I think, net it, potassium, right? Amount that does not belong to us, simply, right? NCI can be determined in two bases. Basis, they can king a pita NCI determined, karagana, pulua. One we call the proportionate basis, right? If you want to take notes, you can take, right? Proportionate basis taking up it in CI determine exactly what we have done here. Methodicality basis. Proportionate basis. Right? The other method is fair value basis. NCI non-controlling interest amount summary cat with the owner. Summary cut this is not a must, right? Somebody can prepare a thing. Somebody can prepare a thing. It is easier for us to do the sum. For a Ghana Karana lazy, right? A Ghana Karana lazy when a Tamai may have a summary can build up Karagan. Right? When building up this summary, we should know the NCI value as well. So NCI we can determine based on two bases. So there are two bases one is proportionate basis, and the other one is fair value basis. Proportionate basis means we consider the percentage of NCI, right? Right? Percentage of NCI. Api NCI will a percentage of base karagin, calcaran NCI value a tamai api can be proportionate basis NCI value. Proportionate basis secretary api minimia. Acquire Karagan Dabasi or acquire when a company a key net assess amounts to my me stated capital the dahak tibba there were thousand retained earnings in a total up to tibila tianama tunda api minimia namak yana. This is the name we give for this sum fair value of net identifiable assets. Right? Fair value of net identifiable assets. Acquire Karagana Dabasim in the minute net assets well, fair value. In a fair value of net identifiable assets, we need to multiply by the NCI percentage. NCI percentage is the same as the same as Anit basis as the same as the same Minna mechara NCI value ka vidya to consider karan. Right? The fair value is given in the sum, so we need to take it directly over here. NCI full fair value method dekata yana kilati boting. Api me vidya to calculations karan in a gani di latin amount seka a vidya to consider karan. Right? Okay, so this is also crucial. Right? Group structure, how it goes like, what has happened? Right? May group structure capital or with the unknown, right? What has happened is P initially has acquired 75% of S, and then later on S has acquired 60% of T. S is subsidiary T is also a subsidiary for plus. Right? S is subsidiary T is subsidiary and this is another crucial thing. We need to prepare this summary as well, right? Effective holding percentage and NCI percentage, right? If we take this transaction, P has acquired 75% of S. Remember, we are keeping accounts of B prepare consolidated financial statements Assuming we are P, Api P kiyana company ka kiyana hita gana tamai, api financial statements hadan. Ehe nang, P kiyana company ka ta, 
determine कर S api S ke C ya itu hatta bahag karga, he nang api E agi effectively control kare nama seventy five percent, right? Menne make kira seventy five percent tama, ni api effective holding percentage kila lagi nanti. Api directly S ke nang company ya ki C ya itu hatta bahag control kare effective holding percentage. Rest of the twenty five percent is not belonging to us. Itu C ya itu bisi bahag control kare nene, bener kau tuh hari. Kita mahu apa NCI percentage, apa non-controlling interest percentage. When it is S, right? When it is T, apa T kita kena apa directly control kerana apa dengan itu? Apa D kita kena directly control kerana via S through S we control T. S kita kena haraha tama ya apa T we control kerana. Right? Ena, then determining the effective holding percentage of T limited, we cannot say it is sixty percent. Apa itu siapa yang hatta ikhlas yang anda dah? Siapa yang hatta ini est? Ada yang api hada ni accounts, api P kira assume kan? Ena, api itu mian agi siapa yang hatta aiti? Nae, api itu kira aiti. Since we are, we since T is a subsidy subsidiary for us through S. It should be forty five percent. Api S G C itu hatta bahag kekpaya kerjaan kekpaya kerjaan itu yang nama S C itu hatta kekpaya kerjaan nama T G. Eh nang T G yang company ye ke? Api itu dia na effective holding percentage jika C itu hatta lis bahag. And this is so these are the percentages we need to consider for the accounting purpose, right? Accounting purpose api consider kerana non percentage tamai ni. Mea si ya deh hatai kela. Eka ni mei apa effective holding percentage jaga win, right? So the effective holding percentage is forty five percent. It means the NCI percentage should should be fifty five percent, right? So this is the basic. राइट मिन्न में समरी के बेस करन तमाह इतनो हम दे एम अभी करा दिस इज वेरी क्रूशल एंड वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट मैं टाइम ग्राफिक गहलान निकल राइट ओके क्लियर तो हम तो मैं समरी के गहलान निकल के लिए थे बट वी हैव डन हियर इज बाय ट्रा बाय ट्रांसैक्शन टू ट्रांसैक्शन वी नीड टू नो व्हाट दे who has acquired whom at which percentage for what amount and as at the acquisition date what are the net assets of the acquiring company right and also the nci value see here how i have determined the nci value fair value of net fair value of net identifiable assets the amount is 3000 right Acquire keragan double se, minne me eskian a company ke net asset value ke tuh nda hai. Ya, beri kalau tiennya me mungkin de. Minne me tena tienna NCI percentage je ke. S limited de ke NCI percentage is twenty five percent. Therefore, we have multiplied it by twenty five percent. So, thereby we have determined our NCI value as seven hundred and fifty. Right? Now look at this. Mitten not the hemai. Me acquisition ne ke edhi. Api api NCI value ke dhenne gani inna. Oh no. Well, acquire karagan na dhavas se. Minna me ke na T company ke total net assets tiya nama worth of 1600. Edda sai si yaga net assets tiya nama. Acquire karagan na dhavas se. T ke na company ke. Mamme mukhen de vedi kalla tiya nama. See. S K ni company ke T K C ni tu hatta kaya kaya kerja ni tu kan? Eh, nang N C I C ni tu hatali he nabi. N C I C ni tu hatali he ni S. But we account assuming we are P, 
a pay in CI percentage it is not 40%, it should be 55%. That is the percentage I need to consider here. Authenticity Api accounts hadane api P kirhitagi. Ape company ka P. P kin a company with a my S3 T3 combined karala consolidated financial statements hadana. Yan. Ehina P kin a company ake. Api to akin a seat a hetamaitine. Api effectively control karan seat hathalis paha. Pita. Right. Yanang NCI percentage should be fifty five percent. Right. So this is the basic summary we can build up with respect to example number one. Minna me katandre tamai sampoon gaani vela tiyan ne. Right? Clear? Vela tiyan de pehdi li de. Mukad vela tiyan ne ye la. Right. Okay. Now we can prepare the consolidated statement of financial position for P limited group. P limited group, we get a consolidated finance consolidated statement of financial position. Right? Remember here all the assets and liabilities, right? Assets and liabilities. We need to do the line by line action. Apigavatian assets, apigavatian liabilities, api line by line at Karana owner. Right? S Kilakian it up the subsidy reca, T Kilakian it up the subsidy reca. Api P, you know, where companies to name assets, liabilities, line by line at Kerla. Apita, Pinana Veda. Non current asset, asset component, right? P limited. What is the non current asset amount? It is 12,000, right? Me line by line at Kranian. S limited, it is 5,000. T limited, we have 4,000. So, all together for these three companies, there are non current assets worth of 21,000. Assets. Investment in S, investment in T, men make an amounts, a pay consolidation process, eliminate will I know, make an accounts, nati will I know, right? We need this or we convert this or we transfer these amounts to our cost of control account, right? Me cost of control accounts will me amounts transfer will I know, can 6,000 within a thin one balance, debit balance, it's about May 6,000 credit kara, credit. Credit card be debit card pe cost of control account ticket. It is a minimum make in high daha net will I know. This investment amount will be remain as need, right? A kind of method table consider kari net investment amounts a pay consolidation process a kd nil balances will I know value a zero will I know, right? Current assets another asset component, right? Current assets come on some degree within the long inventories, trade receivables, other receivables, or a mona item make a team, but a big run mugad line by line addition. P limited, there are current assets worth of 2000. S limited, there are current assets worth of 300. T limited, there are current assets worth of 1700. So all together. All for these three companies, there are current assets worth of 4,000. Right? Remember this line by line addition we do only for assets and liabilities. Assets volatile, liabilities volatile, with a line by line addition. May my assets the stated capital retained earnings NCI? Are these assets? No, these are. Our net asset amount, net asset figures, right? Net assets are line by line at Kranani. Liabilities, yes. Assets and liabilities, yes, we need to do the line by line addition. You know? Liabilities of P limited, there are here 4,000. S limited liability amount is 2,000. 
800. For T limited, the liability amount is 3,700. So altogether 10,500. Right? Now, we will do this. 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 We will do NCI value ko hoya ganna ona una eka nisa api group structure eka kohomada effective holding percentages NCI percentages eka eka subsidiary walta betila yanne kiyala determine karagatta then we can graph the or we can prepare the consolidated statement of financial position etana api mulinma kare assets and liabilities line by line add karagena giya meva kare ne right Okay, clear up to now what we have discussed. Right, line by line at Kanadia. Then this retained earnings amount we have to take using a working. Working again, the money retained earnings amount, NCI amounts gone. Right, from the same working. But this stated capital amount, what we need to consider as the final figure is the amount of the parent company. Parent company, how do you mean? company, apimi account, sadhani api P limited kelly P tamai parent. P limited villa stated capital amount is what? Eleven thousand. That we can directly take into as our final figure. Right, the line by line at Granane, a picarani, a parent company, a stated capital amount taker, a pay final figure with yet consider consolidated statement of financial position. Right, okay, now we can move to the working, right. Right. Can anyone remember how to calculate uh, the goodwill value? Here, see how, how I have drafted this work in from the work in the form of the draft color. Right. Okay. See how many subsidiaries do I have? Subsidiaries kia kakpaya karantiya na If I am P limited, I have two subsidiaries one is s and the other one is t so for each subsidiary i want to have a goodwill column and an nci column right so for s i have a separate goodwill column and separate nci column for t t is also a subsidiary for us so for t t also i have a separate goodwill account or goodwill column and a separate nci column Right, and the last column is group retained earnings. In the main column, make a antima figure katamai, abi men metenta retained earnings with the Ariana or right, right, subsidies the Gatinamana, goodwill NCI accounts, a cake a subsidies well to Benamanama, a pitiagana or right. Okay, can you remember how to calculate the goodwill amount? Goodwill le kapi kohumadhe calculate How to calculate the goodwill amount? Kohumadhe calculate. Define Invest between investment and the net tax. Yes, that is basically when it is investment in associate. Without investment in associate, we have not come up with this NCI. NCI ke ne kena apir hamboon ne. But here we need to deal with NCI and we need to show the amount or we need to account for it as well. Right? It appears in our statement of financial position. Right. Investment amount of S. Now what I am going to do is I am going to calculate the goodwill amount of S. Minna minna make an acquisition mechanism. Right? Minna make an acquisition like a nisa generate which a goodwill like a calcaran nayan, right? So, there 
I can calculate the good to calculate the goodwill. What I need to do is I need to add the investment of S and the NCI value of S. And from that, I need to deduct the net assets of investment of S. So this, this goodwill, this column is actually your cost of control account. Huh? Um, account basis again, I mean, column theory of the main gaana ha dhanne. If you look at the main goodwill column, make a kele kya ni cost of control account ek ha samana. If you look at goodwill of S kele kya ni cost of control account of S. Goodwill of T means cost of control account of T, right? Right. What is the investment amount of S? Api S ke oye ki na siya ta hath ta paha acquire kar gana kiya ki invest karna wale. The investment amount is what? Six thousand, right? You know, the amount is six thousand, right? Six thousand. This is a double entry. Yeah? But we what I have done here is I have credited the investment account of P P account P investment account taker mama credit karala. I have debited it to the cost of control account of S. That is what I have done here. Right? If you have a credit card investment in a scale balance, you can see a balance of nil. Cost of control account, you can see a balance of pen. You can see the cost of control account transfer. Right? Right? Right. NCI value of S. What is the amount? NCI value of S. The amount is? But in the transaction, we have already calculated it is 750. Console right? So this is also a double entry. I have debited the NCI value of S to my cost of control account and I have credited it to my NCI account. Cost of control account take a debit kara, NCI account take a credit kara. Take a time maker. Right? Then I need to deduct the net assets amount of S at as at the acquisition date. Minami acquire karagat the dava say acquire when a company ke ekan ape paripa lita samagami. Net assets amount eka api metana deduct karan node. Deduct karna go to make up double entry come, right? Net assets means uh, uh, credit, credit amount. So that credit amount we need to debit and we need to credit it to the cost of control account of S, right? So this is a account with a credit balance. NCI kira kya an equity component ya kya make up account with the debit balance right here also the same good feel that happy with an economic stock control account to go on it take up a debit account to debit balances the an account in ca can with credit balances group retained earnings but credit balances right in a matter may have a debit current what i need to do is i need to hit up this net asset amount when the make you tune that my name mama Right, so the goodwill generated through this acquisition of S should be three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Clear? Am goodwill mean me acquisition ne kata dala goodwill amount ke kal karan na investment value ekai NCI value ekai ekatu karala net assets amount ke adu karan no investment value ke six thousand. NCI value is 750. Acquire a thousand net assets. The acquisition nekata adal will generate winner goodwill value is 3750. Right? Goodwill. Goodwill usually we show 
under non current assets non current assets world passe thamai api goodwill amount ekak pennanna own right goodwill amount so this column the middle column i will use for adjustments right adjustments world mamme middle column ekak bawichchi karana right goodwill generated through the acquisition of s is 3750 right And from that, we need to deduct the net assets amount of T, net asset value of T. Right, investment of T. You know, investment of T. Minne meten te inno na amount deka kiye. What should be the amount here? What should be the amount here? Two thousand. Is it two thousand? Mom, me then two thousand kill daaga to thing hari the. Mom, me account so then ne. Mona company ki in dan the. S company ki in dan the. P company ki in dan the. I prepare this consolidated financial statements for the P Limited. P Limited Group pe karta mai mom me financial statements hadan ne. E na P Limited the me the daha invest kala thi ne S Limited the. This two thousand has invested by whom? How did invest? Kerala did. This two thousand has been invested by S Limited, not us. Apni nevi. Hey, by S P subsidy rekat nisa. He has become a subsidy for us, right? So it should not be two thousand here. Yeah. Nine hundred. Right. S has invested two thousand के लिए क्या ने अपि किया invest करा हाँ सामान अधे मैं two thousand value इन्नो ना किए इन्दे forty five percent that is the NCI percentage S के ने के ना दे दा हाँ invest करने वाले क्या ने if S is investing two thousand means S के ने अपि तक किया कहीं थी दे S K N company के we have acquired seventy five percent of S. इना S M का खरी transaction निका करने वाला हूँ. ये transaction निकीन C ये हैत्ता पाक कहाँ गिदे? C ये हैत्ता पाक अपे, right? Seventy five percent. Thousand five hundred, right? इना remember this ना this is the area where you may go wrong ना. Investment के लिए yes आह uh, sir are we not considering the effective holding for this no effective holding percentage we mainly use for NCI calculations right yeah. okay right S T के C S के ना company के T के इतने C ये attack पाए करेगा ना दिदा हक invest करने वाले के लिए क्या ने अपि इद्दास पांच वो ये दिदा हैं इद्दास पांच सी आप इन्वेस्ट करा हा समान है, right? But again the double entry is not satisfied, right? Double entry is not satisfied. Here it is two thousand. What we do is we credit this two thousand. मैं डेबिट दिए ना दिदा हा आप इकराने बैरे करना हा तो कोड बैरे करा टपस मैं दिदा हा आइंग में लाया ना तो कोड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टी के बैलेंस का ने दिदा हा बैरे कर ला � Only thousand five hundred, right? Thousand five hundred with right debit kalatin. Itru pansiya where we need to debit the remaining five hundred. Make ye na deda hing deda pansiya apin apenang itru pansiya kaagi the. It should be NCI of right NCI of S. Right? Yeah, na investment account credit to na debited to these two accounts. Right? 
ुडिट or should i add here or should i deduct it here mama debit karana mama mokada karanna on meka nci kele kiyanne equity component ekak equity component ekak nan etena tiyenne credit balances if i need to debit i need to deduct right then thamai api double entry complete to right investment value metana wenas wena eka dana right so what is the nci value NCI value of T. What is the amount? NCI value of T. What is the amount? Thousand one hundred. NCI value of T. Where did you get that thousand five hundred? So here, NCI NCI value we have already calculated. It is eight hundred and eighty. एक्वायर करेगा ना दाव से मैं आगे नेट से सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड थी ना माँ एक इंग अपे एनसीआई परसेंटेज का फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ये ना एनसीआई वैल्यू ऑफ टी इज़ एट हंड्रेड एंड एट एनसीआई वैल्यू ऑफ टी एट हंड्रेड एंड एट कॉस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल अकाउंट का डेबिट करा एनसीआई ऑफ टी अकाउंट क्रेडिट It is thousand six hundred. Let me make it now. It does. I see you. And a May acquisition like a generate which a good will like a key. What is the good will generated through this acquisition? It is key seven hundred and eight. Right. इनां एसकी ने एक ना एक के ना एक पाय करेगा तो नहीं सब वी हैव जेनरेटेड अ गुड बिल ऑफ़ थ्री थाउजेंड सेवेन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी एंड इन दिस ट्रांसैक्शन राइट विथ रिगार्ड टू दिस ट्रांसैक्शन सिंस एस हैज एक पाय टी फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव जेनरेटेड अ गुड बिल ऑफ़ सेवेन the acquisition of s and another yeah 780 from the acquisition of t right oga thamai isellama kara summarize kara group structure ekak hadagena effective holding percentage nci percentage determine karagatta liability sorry assets and liabilities line by line add kara and then we need to calculate the goodwill separately right then after this what we need to do here is we need to calculate the post acquisition profits menna me thiyena retained earnings me thiyenne acquire karagatta dawasata api कल करना ओने अभी मिन्न में एक्विशन ने का करा आठ पास से एस लिमिटेड की ये का प्रॉफिट्स होएगा ती है ना वध पोस्ट एक्विशन प्रॉफिट्स राइट एक्वायर करेगा तो डर पास से एक के एक सब्सिडियरीज होएगु प्रॉफिट्स गाना अभी तने के नहीं नो ने ऐ ये आला एक्वायर करेगा तो डर पास से हर प्रॉफिट्स वाले एस के नाम सीधा post acquisition profits of s limited so what is the amount the retained earnings amount of s limited as at the balance sheet date s limited kiyana pe subsidiary eke api me financial statements hadana dawasa weddi retained earnings kiyak penna namada it is 
परिपालित समागम Now my question is whether the total thousand five hundred belongs to us. Make in it does fancy yama apayder apayder kila hane p limited dekayder. No. Retained earnings of s. Me thousand five hundred ma apayder apay kiya vitarade. Out of this. Yes. Seventy-five percent belongs to us, right? Group retained earnings, right? Enak. Out of this thousand five hundred post acquisition profit, seventy-five percent belongs to us, right? Thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Itturu siya ta visi pa kaata dai. The rest of the twenty-five percent. To whom does it belongs to? NCI. Yes, NCI office. See, it has to be a big control. Because now, it through see it a busy paha should be in this column. NCI of S. A thousand five hundred into twenty five percent, three hundred and seventy five. Right. That is for S limited. For T limited, we need to do the same, right? Balance sheet take a key up in another T limited. T limited as set 31st December 2019. The retained earnings amount is thousand. The das the hanami dollar hai tis seka. T limited a k. Abhi na ta apne devani subsidiary a k retained earnings pen na nama. Da thousand. As at the acquisition date, acquire kar gani thi kiya thi bad. As at the acquisition date, what was the retained earning amount here? On first of April two thousand sixteen, S acquired sixty percent in T when T limited retained earnings stood at here six hundred. Acquire kar gani thava si high CI. डेम्पिंग ने नमा दाह ये नंग की ये का फ्रॉपी ठोयल द हार सी ये का फ्रॉपी ठोयल द ये नमा अपी एक पाया कर गाते द पास से मेकिंग की ये अपी टे अकाउंट्स तिया गाने पुलवांदे अपे अकाउंट टेकर दाग गाने पुलवांदे आउट ऑफ दिस 400 व्हाट इज़ द परसेंटेज बिलोंगिंग टू अस द मेथड दी एस्टीमेटेड खा� अपने इफेक्टिव होल्डिंग परसेंटेज का क्या है? फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट। इफेक्टिव होल्डिंग परसेंटेज ऑफ़ टी लिमिटेड। टी लिमिटेड ठीक है। अपने इफेक्टिवली कंट्रोल करना फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट। इट मींस वी नीड टू अकाउंट फॉर फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ़ दिस। इट मींस हंड्रेड एंड एटी। रेस्ट ऑफ़ द फि� NCI of card the NCI of T T right out of this four hundred fifty five percent नत्ता मेन में किन NCI percentage जिकर 
we need to credit to the NCI account of T. Right? Then, since there are no any other adjustments, adjustments at last, what we need to consider is the balance sheet, as at the balance sheet date, the retained earning amount of our parent company. Right? Balance sheet date, a parent company retained earnings amount. 5,000. What should be the amount? 5,000. 5,000. Right. 5,000. Where it should be? In which color? Group retained earnings. Retained earnings. Right? So that is it. What should I guarantee? What should I guarantee? Adjustments to nothing. Unrealized profits. Right? Goodwill impairment. Right? Adjustments. They have a make a consolidation process. Adjustments will be double entries pass. Right? Right. Non current assets. Since there were no any adjustments. Right. Since there were no any adjustments, the final value that should be shown in our financial position or consolidated financial position should be 21,000. Right? Goodwill amount, impairments, right? since there are no any other impairments, the goodwill amount, the final goodwill amount is 4,530. Current assets for adjustments gain. Line by line, at total four thousand now. In our total assets is twenty nine thousand five hundred and thirty. Right, retained earnings and NCI here. NCI we should represent under equity. Equity components of comma pen no the first set amai. Api NCI pen na no right. Retained earnings amount take here. So this, this is the amount, 6,305, 6,305 in me amount. Right. What is the NCI amount? There are two amounts, NCI of S is 625, for that we need to add NCI of 8,100, all together there are 1,720. Right. Since there are no any adjustments with regard to liabilities, the final liability amount should be ten thousand five hundred. Right. Our balance sheet take a balance then what twenty nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. Clear. Yes. Right. If I summarize it again, I summarize everything of known. First, we need to have this big picture, right? Big picture graph known. Graph the must need, right? Kavad the uni. The date we should know. Kauru kava the acquire karagate. Kochara percentage the make in a percentage acquire karagana key up invest karada. Investment amount up it a balance sheet taken balagana pulva. Right? Etakota itapasi acquire karagana davasa veddi minime acquire vena company aka net assets ki yakti bada net assets kilikiani are equity components because stated capital retained anything with a meganity. Okay, with our tea and a blamano revaluation reserve, other reserves, general reserves, a cake with your tea and a pulva. Tip putting a comma consider karan known. Have a balance sheet take up in an amounts in a way. Acquire Karagana Davasitib amounts. That is what we need to consider. A acquire Karagana Davasitib amounts for Kongama Ekatuata we called the fair value of net identifiable assets. Right? Then we need to determine the NCI value as well. Right? NCI value determine Karagana we need to have a clear understanding of our group structure. 
by looking at the group structure, we need to determine or we need to show the effective holding percentages and NCI percentages separately. Api kelim directly aspect by karagan nama. It about effective holding percentage, NCI percentage. It is straightforward. But T limited we acquired through S. Enang api kelim effective holding percentage kila sixty percent consider karan nabe. It is sixty percent should it. 60% into 75%, it should be 45%. The rest of 55% belongs to NCI. NCI percentage determined, we can calculate the NCI values, right? Here, you need especially to keep in keep this in mind, right? Methana see it a hatali anyway. Minna methana pi calculate NCI percentage. After done with this summary, we can prepare the consolidated statement of financial position. There, first we need to do is we need to add the assets and liabilities. The li we need to do the line by line addition for all the assets and for all the liabilities, not for net assets. Equity components are right? Then for, for each and every transaction, for each and every acquisition, we need to calculate the goodwill, right? There, the first thing, the first thing we need to do is, the first thing we need to do is, right? This one, investment amount, right? Investment amount. Investment amount take accounts the other no investment take a tukaran no right what in the way of patanga investment amount take right it was in the category then the NCI value right NCI of S we got the temp in and yeah NCI of S this is what we dealt NCI value. Right? Then third, the net assets amount. Minami net assets amount of S. This is what we have considered at third. Tungi to consider kare mea. Me tunda hagati from where? This amount, right? This three thousand. Right. Then investment of T. Investment of T. Right. We have taken from here, but we need to keep in mind this two thousand is not invested by us. This two thousand is invested by S. If S is invest in 2000 it means that it is equals we have invested like 1500 s theda hak invest kara kiyala kiyanne api 1500 ak invest karapu of s right fourth point fifth point nci of t right nci of t NCI of T, this 808, that is what we have considered, right? Fifth point. Sixth one, this 1600, we have taken from this summary, right? This is summary of crucial Q. Summary of the summary of the summary of the Net assets of T. Then retained post acquisition profits we need to consider, right? Post acquisition profits. Those things we need to calculate separately. This is the seventh thing we have done, right? In terms of our working. Retained and post acquisition profits of S. We have a PTIT percentage, NCI percentage, right? NCI portion. Then retained earnings of 
post acquisition profits of T limited. Right? Post acquisition profit of T limited. In the main. Right? So retained earnings as at the balance sheet date, we need to consider at last. Right? So this is the total consolidation process and how we can solve the consolidation sums. Right? Mm. Right. So uh, there are some other examples as well in our practice questions. So we can discuss it later on with a different session, right? Example two, three, and four. Example two, you actually you can do it at your home. It is more like as example one. Example one magi mata mai make ayo ala taniyam practice karanna. Example two wala TV diem gana tinne. Right? Uh, with a different session, I will discuss example number three. Me vertical group structure ka tiye di ko mat console karanne kiel tamai me kata kare. Right? Vertical group structure means something like this. Right? Me na me magi structure ka. Me din kili wale kila tino. P S X paya karge na pas se S T X paya karge. In example number three, this is a bit different. The structure is a bit different, right? This is what we call in example three D shaped. D shaped structure ka the console consolidated financial statements. Right? So we will discuss it with a different session, right? Okay. Thank you.